So we have the new special ability, Armor Piercing, and Regenerate Ally Shields. So... Armor Piercing sounds great. Able to be auto-dodged by maneuvering jets on most smaller craft, but very powerful and travels through entire lines of ships and obstacles. I think I'll try that one instead of the Gravity Lance, because we can do deal with the other two, but I think the Armor Piercing is that's what it's meant for. Anyway, back to the Acutians. Still can Unless another technology appears. Unless, yes, of course. Let's continue to try to improve relations with the Boreans. They almost like each other enough to make the Federation. The Raxians have researched nanometallurgy, so their armada constructions increased. However, they are still one of the weakest armadas in the game. And soon, other people will be going to war with them as well. Soon. Acutians like us a little bit more. Acutians also like the Borings enough, where the Federation could theoretically be made from that. Now, let's improve relations with the Burlusts. Aw, oh, they hate the Acutians. Space, the power space power from the Acutians. Acutians no longer suck. Peltians no longer suck with space power. In fact, Peltians, I do say so myself, are actually one of the strongest in space areas here. Oh no, Thraxians created a, Thraxians have now created a military outpost. We may destroy it. Uh tough. We don't have the power to do that. However, we're taking over. We don't we have to have one of the other races do that for us. Skylaxians are actually being attacked by the Thraxians as of right now. I'm actually gonna finish this up a little bit, because I don't think the Skylaxians are actually going to lose that soon. Evox are now attacking Skylaxians. <sighs> so the galaxy the... is going into civil war, essentially. Kind of. Alright. So, Burlusts now like Acutians, Acutians now like Burlusts. We have one last thing to do, and that is make it so the Borines like the Burlusts. And wipe and kill the leader of the... Of the group. However, in the meantime, I'm going to actually do the personal dispatch of Armada Construction here. If only because we need some money to continue this, honey. Uh, Globe of Factory Malfunction. Seriously? Acutions, seriously? Uh. Okay, that's enough of that. I'll actually go to the Skylaxians, and let's just aid with Armada Construction there for now. Peltians have researched low drag casing, so they have better ground combat. Oh, no, better. Oh, 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 okay. Peltians have got gene splicing, a surprising breakthrough. Super splicing has been breakthrough. -ed. Peltians have gotten a lot of medical aid. Andor's got a hydral signal. Population shrinking due to a higher death rate. Populace is demoralized. Oh no. Why are there so many pirates? Pirates, 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 and more pirates. Andor's also have a hydral tech. Hmm. You know what I think we could definitely go for? What? How about we make it so the Peltians prove their worth to the galaxy by using the race with the strongest armadas in the game currently and having them blow up multiple pirate outposts. Let's do that. Friendly actions help destroy a pirate base. It also gives us a lot of credits and makes everyone generally like us. So let's see. They sent one of their high strength ships. Oh, the Peltians have sent a lot of high strength ships. We'll see how this goes. I'm really curious. These things are weak to energy blaster. Oh, armor piercing is high range as well. Interesting. And if possible, could we 
Have the Peltians joined the war against the Thoraxians? Maybe. We have to remember, we have to do voting in order to get that to work. Oh, these are boring pirates. That's annoying. Alright, so if I... Okay, focus fire on you. Then we'll do Operation Camp Chi to clear out a lot of this territory. We'll turn around, open fire on you. Can these ships just stop jumping everywhere? Or do I need to kill you? Minigun, done. Auto fire just for a little bit, clear up some space. Divert power to shields. You're not dead yet, that's a problem. Minigun, once again, fire at will. Please clear up some freaking space, man. Although in this case, the Peltians are actually holding the freaking line. Why are there more boring pirates? Like, every five seconds. Because they have their artifact of ruin? That, that doesn't make any sense. They shouldn't be able to produce ships, then. I don't know. Stunner. Can this actually do its job and, you know, stun them? Boring might have low public order. <sighs> no, no, no. They can't produce more ships when they're already in combat. I guess reinforcements came. That doesn't make sense either. There's no, in, there's nothing in game that lets you do that. I'm literally saying this shouldn't be happening. I'm just guessing. I want to end the lives of these boreens. Shortwave virus again. Can it please stop shotgunning me to victory? Because this is getting really, really stupid. Thank you. All their pirates are finally dead. Their troops are running out. The pirates are finally dead. Why is my armor pierce so poor? Now let's see, how fast does it fire? Quite fast, actually. Wow, killed everything. Okay. That's one pirate base down. A couple more to go. Actually, you know what? I'm curious. Uh, let us take a look at our monographs. <laughs> Sorry, that's wrong. Uh, enable planet sidebar, population graphs. What do I want to look at again for this? Racial power grid. There are still two pirate armadas and two pirate outposts available. One Acution and one Burlust. Shall we continue clearing pirate bases? Everyone generally that likes us more and it gives us a ton of money? How far are we off from creating the Federation? Very. The moment. We okay, still have kill to have, another pirate. We still have to have a pirate base. We still have to, in addition to killing these pirate bases, we have to make it so the Borings and the Burlusts like each other, and that takes a lot of money. Since I can't apparently broker trade route, routes again. Because it's stupid how they hide it, apparently. Let's keep killing pirates. Alright. So this is going to be the Burlust Pirate, which all their sniper turrets will minigun our way to victory through all of the... Actually, Energy Blaster to victory. Fire. Alright, you want to have fun here? Let's have fun. Actually... They dodge out of the way, but the stunner always deals the same amount of damage, and the bullets always fly. Okay, bad idea. We'll Kamchi again, have our ships go around fighting and flying. Fighting and flying. And maybe, just maybe, we'll be victorious. Probably not. 
I'm gonna fire hey, on maybe you. everyone but the Thraxians will survive. That's a great victory for us. That is a fantastic victory indeed. Clear out all the bullets again because there's just way too many. Because they just seem to deploy more bullets than could be feasible for any mortal race. Okay, one down. We're gonna move Come on. Come on. We know they're not mortal. This is all just a chaos stream or something. Chaos stream. Not chaos stream, but a. This is just a chaos, a system trapped in a trap separated from the rest of the galaxy by chaos power, by the chaos gods. Let's drop our weapons, do a full turnaround, because I actually want to go grab these burlust pirates to drop right. them back off at their own species. I'm tired, I can't even remember Warhammer 40k. What a horrible sure. thing indeed to forget. Okay, that's one down, and we have just a little bit more to go. Let's boost our weapons, drop our engines, and continue firing. Alright, four more pirate bases to go through. We'll swap to this one, auto-fire, and go. Drop this, boost our speed, let's move straight towards the pirate base. Drop our engines, boost our weapons, and continue firing. Oh wait, that's an SS swarm? Well, that's useful. Didn't know that that's exactly what it did, but okay, I can accept this. Dead. I'm the only viewer. I wish we had some viewers in chat so I wouldn't be the only one making decisions. Ah, well, things happen. I do my best to advertise, but people don't like popping in for whatever reason. Is that a hydro, hydro tech that's available? Most likely. It's not a hydro tech, it's a hydro something, though. It's a hydro I like. I'm gonna go retrieve it, because that just interests me greatly. You know what we're gonna do? Full speed ahead. What? Minigun, auto fire, go. Hop in here. I can't use anti swarm. Wasted all of it. Ah well. Move across here. Fire at the hangar bay with the minigun. Well, if you want No Man's Sky, you can get it for the low, low price of $23.99. That is still not worthwhile. They just added a story to it. They literally oh, come on, Hydral Ion Cannon. That's stupid. It's going to blow up the Hydral Ion Cannon before I have a chance to do anything, and let's kill this immediately. Alright, well, uh, let us stun her. Swap back to auto fire, clear everything else around it. Pop over here, swap to minigun, fire unendingly, absorb the shots for the- Ah, uh, too late, lost the ion cannon, because the game is really dumb in that regard. Uh, you know what? We'll clear out the bullets and we'll just go clear the stuff manually, because this is not a problem. And I'll just end the fight. I wanted to do something cool, I wanted to do a hydro ion cannon, but nope, I am not allowed. Yeah, apparently they really improved No Man's Skies. Yeah, but the problem is first impressions are all that matters nowadays, and they failed. It's basically... Hmm. Are you dead yet? Okay, thank goodness. You know what we're going to swap to? They're not Stunner. What is the best way to kill these things? Okay, fine. Auto-fire with the cannon. 
So it always deals the same amount of damage, regardless. Direct line of fire with this thing. This is sending some shots their way. If the armor piercer did more damage, this thing would actually be worthwhile. But there's just not enough enemies to ever warrant it. Yeah. Come on. Minigun fire. Alright, rescued 22 burlesque pilots from escape pods. One burlesque pilot joined your construction team used via property development and space outpost. Okay. Excellent. The guy for you slave. Yeah, it's only a one time slave and they can just walk away. Uh, do you want to clear out the last pirate base? Let's clear out all my as well. Alright. Well, Peltian Collective. We might as well. Oops, sorry. Friendly actions. Yeah, we might. You are roboting so hard that it's not even easy to talk to you. You are doing it too. It's just Discord being potato. Yeah, for the most part. Because it's saying I have perfect connection. You know what, you know what, you know what, you know what? You know what? What we're gonna do here, we're gonna do this early, and we're gonna go claim that ion cannon. Because that seems like a brilliant decision. We're also gonna aim at you, because. Can you stop flying in bloody circles and outspeeding everything? Because this is really dumb. No. No. It can't. It has to. It's a job. Well, it should definitely have studied a different a different style of career because it's definitely not working out for it. I know. It should have been a but bloody at the doctor. Same time, you can't tell it. It's the feel the guy you always dreamed to become. Danter. Sadly, it was a kind of a stupid field, but he's not part of it. Max out speed. Let's go through claim. Our pilots, because I could definitely use some more. Then drop the engines, boost our attack, and renew our assault. <laughs> okay. Games that are looking at Steam right now, games that are suggested to me, because we were playing 100% orange juice for a while. Uno. Learning to fly. It's Some almost game about a dog. It has no clue how to handle itself. I presume. None of these games look anything similar to 100% orange juice. Because can anything be truly similar to 100% orange juice? No. Nothing can't. Yet it tries to be. Alright, let's start clearing out some of these people. Okay, that cleared off most of it. Now I want to claim the Hydro Tech before they destroy it by their mere existence. Is that too much to we can't ask? Let, we can't let anyone else touch the Hydro Tech. It we, is ours. We, we, only ours. Okay, I wanted to target this thing. That's one down. Energy, auto fire, and everything close by. Oh, Operation Kimchi to get some more space. Can this stop firing on them? Seriously, I don't get why they have those stuff right next to it. Because all it does is it just immediately clears the one hydro tech that I was actually looking forward to. It's already dead. There's no point in going after it now. It should be invulnerable until active. Not what it's doing now. Clear out the bullets. 
turn fire away, I guess. It'll be all right. It'll never be all right. Now to actually go do what we originally set out to do and destroy the pirate bases. I just want to set up the turrets so we just automatically kill the pirate bases for us. Oh, armor resist ballistics. Well, let's fix that. I can't say that these shots don't look pretty. I would just prefer if they did something else. They all. Don't we all? <clears throat> you seem to be dying internally. Uh, no, it's just. Are you choking? I'm, Do you my... need the Heimlich maneuver? <laughs> no, it's just my voice is. I'm just stuffed up. Real bad at the moment. Haven't been feeling too too well. Ah, understandable. Well, hopefully you stop feeling horrible and are able to not die internally. Probably not. I work at Walmart. It's full of every disease known to man, and several known to monkey. Like AIDS. Mm-hmm. And syphilis. And pretty much every single disease that affects mankind. About right. Okay, we'll just do the shortwave this virus is... again, make all these things under our command, have actual defenses that'll fire for us, except not really, and continue clearing out the pirate bases. I ordered you to fire directly on this thing. Now, if you could so kindly do so, that'd be great. I don't want to. You're not the one in command. I am. Anyway, 13 Acution pilots. The last pirate base has been destroyed again. Tech research Acutions. Nanometallurgy has been researched. And we have one hydro technology available from the Andor, so we want to try and go and retrieve it. After I take my own drink myself, because oh my gosh, am I dying? We're all dying here. Well, and... that's true. You could definitely be nicer about it. So, true. who's attacking them? Thraxian Armada. Hey, Skalaxians. I I feel like I'm good. Wait, who are you at war with? You're at war with the Evex and the Thraxians. Alex can't really touch you. Hey, hey, Skylaxians. Skylaxians, let, let, let's, uh, I'm gonna gift you a technology. Um, I'm gonna give you basic subatomic weapons. So you can actually, you know, fight. Yeah. L let's just, let's just give you the ability to, you know, fight. in space, and we'll move on to the Andors. So you want to search the nearby ice belt for hydro tech again? Not at the moment, unless you want to. Alright, well we'll go back to the original programming and start trying to improve some freaking relations. Because we currently have at the moment. We might as well save up and wait and use the money to help form the Federation. Might as well Too get late, it set already up. already spending all of it so we can even get it set up in the first place. Right. Oh, hang on. Pause. There we go. Alright, so the money has been spent and... The Burlus just need to like the Boreans. That's it. Everyone else is okay with them, but Burlusts... They, they just need to stop being hateful warmongers. That's why we love them. 
the hateful warmongers. So you wanted us to try and kill the main boss, right? Yes. We have to kill him to unite him under our role. Well, well not our role, under the role of a puppet governor of our choosing. I don't think we'll have much of a choice in that regard. However, let's get ourselves begun with Muxol, the Prime Warlord. Let's challenge to a duel. And let's hope the secondary wants to. Hopes the secondary that we have a bunch of favor with will be the one to succeed him. All right, beginning in <laughs> three, two, one. All right, Maxol, let's kill another one. I've been killing your warlords since day one, so I feel like we should end you yet again. Oh God, I didn't get the gravity lance. Hang on. Restart, restart, false start. False start indeed. Customized flagship. Let's replace the armor piercer with disruptor's not good. Gravity lance, so we can not take forever. And now let's go kill Muxol. All right. So what does this change about him? Absolutely nothing, except I think he's gained like slightly more shields. So our shields will always remain at four. Auto fire with energy blaster first. Because the same bullet pattern we've used, we're used to. And I think we're now in well enough range where I just boost our combat ability enough. I'll leave just enough so we can maneuver. And use the machine gun to utterly decimate him. Uh, yes, because it turns out the minigun is still better. His shields are gone, minigun will drop our... We'll keep our engines up, drop our shields a little bit, and continue to murder. More blood for the blood god. As always. I mean, this is still going to take forever to kill the warlord. But it also always increases our space power. And drop our weapons, boost our speed, boost our shields. Move here and curve. And continue firing so we don't get caught in the shotgun blast. Drop engines, boost weapons, continue moving and continue firing. I'd honestly like to get a little bit away to create just a little bit of space between myself and the Burlust Warlord. I don't know about you. He's now just under half health, but his shots are now turning around to come back towards us to haunt us. Well, we have to fix that problem. We can't. We don't have special abilities here. I'm just trying to get out of the range of this gunfire before it kills me. You know, he swapped, oh, like he, sw left. he swapped to his last pattern, he's down to his last million. He's down to his last little bit? Last million. He's got three more rounds of combat. Any of these rounds, we could very well be killed. We will survive. Well, you're right about that. Respect. Okay, we're going up to full shields right now, just because we're about to take a mass... You know what? We're going to go up to full shields, drop our weapons, because I don't think we can kill him fast enough. And we're just going to power on through in this direction to try to avoid as many shots as possible. And then max out our weapons, because this will finish him off. Planetary raw resources now visible. This seems complicated, but it's actually pretty straightforward. Raw resources are a secondary economy. They don't have any impact on anything that you've been doing up until now. However, they don't. They let you do new things, and the races have already been doing those things. 
So I now can... we can make trade deals. Yes, this is what was stopping us. Constructing buildings and resource and stuff like that. And the Burla Snow love us. Yes. We wiped out their leader. And we now have gained an additional point one for boss kill. Hey, visitors. Excellent. Oh, guns. Another and... point one to the other yeah, two point one. We can't retreat. Okay. So, the Raxons are now trying to assassinate us, which will probably finish this off. You've built up a lot of ill will with the government. With this government, they in turn have decided to hire bounty hunters to track you down and kill you if you think you cannot survive, and make sure you put all your efforts into avoidance until such time as you can withdraw. Then, they have you pinned for a goodly little while either way. If you flee, it'll cost you five months of solar time to escape. How strong are these bounty hunters? Loads of shields. Their range is immense. As immense as ours, and I don't think we have access to special abilities. I'm going to do Operation Kamchi just to figure that out. We'll see what we can do. I hope we can win, or at least get the fuck out of here. In goddamn Thoraxians. I mean, of course, we're doing nothing but tick them off. What did you expect? We saved their people. No, we didn't. Since when? Yeah, we did. Uh, we saved them from the virus, remember? We gave them a stop gag, not an actual cure. Yes, but it's still us being nice. Alright, well, Until we wipe them out. Anti-swarm, clear, clear off everything in front of us. Shields need to continue being damaged. Cut through the last million of that shield. And we'll do another anti-swarm, which clears out all the bullets again. Shields have been cleared off of this one. So is it minigun? No, energy blaster still. I don't have any more anti-swarm, this sucks. Um... Alright, for all of these people, we'll swap to the minigun and auto-fire a little bit just to clear out some of the bullets heading our way, so I actually have some freaking breathing room, because oh my goodness. Power to shields, clear out all bullets. Drop this, we'll actually get our speed boost together. Auto-fire a little bit more so we can clear off some space. We shouldn't have any more ships, right? Right. Energy blaster, focus fire on him. Okay, Pirate Fractal, stop. How many bounty hunters are left? Two. It's only because they keep spawning more ships that I can't really stop them. That's just annoying. Clear. Stop spawning freaking Fractals. Jesus Christ. We've cleared fractals they a thousand have, times. They have to run out of people eventually. They're not. Almost to that one being killed. I'd love to shortwave virus, but I need to continue firing. Ch ch okay, clear off again. One more wave of shots should kill you. One more wave of shots should kill you. And now we have one final bounty hunter flagship. Which we're gonna just swap this auto fire. Kill off everything else that's trying to kill me at this point in time, please. <laughs> no more swarms. <sighs> They're probably gonna continue annoying me like that. For the rest of the game, of course. Until we wipe out the Thoraxians completely. Or force them to join, in spite of their own will. No. They're gonna be exterminated. We're gonna get a nice, large can of... whatever bug spray we can think of and spray the entire planet down. Yes, we'll get a nice big can of raid, I guess. And we're gonna... find the queen. And we're gonna see if she tastes like crap. 
She doesn't. We don't one, know that. One of the Thraxians got a. Uh, one of the Thraxian queens is a uh, deviant, is what we'll say here. That what? Is a deviant, is what I'll say there. Quit blocking my shots, you ungrateful piece of crap, and let me kill you. And how can they send bounty hunters? They can't even get off the ground right now. They don't have a Marta and a Mata. No, they do. They do now. Combat's over. We destroyed all their ships. So our slave aid has failed us? Yes, attack of honor. Andor's enters field of Burles taking advantage of another race in this field. Honor bound to attack Lugos in retaliation. On utter turmoil and are lashing out at Skylaxians at Castor for no particular reason other than their own internal instability. Well, okay, the original reason was that one of the main warlords died. Either you killed him or he died in an internal war or the planet was taken. Solar systems just have to ride out the storm. That's right, the Burles basically have no armada right now and are basically having a massive barroom brawl. Of course. Well, I'm going to sit. Uh, let's see. Management sincerely apologizes for the inconvenience due to the death of a recent death of another warlord. All surviving Burles warlords are currently occupied in a gigantic bar fight and are unavailable for dueling. Please check in back in 58 months. If I offered you a massive quantity of that much, it's not worth a lot. I would like. I don't want to... I want to get le leverage. I want to get I leverage. I love how the burlesque is just a giant bar, essentially. With management and all that. <sighs> Pewink, if I would put in a word with your boss... Okay, by using the two secondary warlords, I can get enough leverage to pull this off. However... It's time for us to get going, and time for me to end the stream. <sighs> Strong... We're so close, but so far. So the Strong Federation will soon be created, and then we can start trying to get other races to join or wipe them out as necessary. However, until then, until then, hope you've enjoyed watching this has been Brain Boy 20 with Let's Play The Last Federation. Hang on. Also, one thing I should have honestly tried to fix beforehand, because I can actually see the complaints of why the recording quality is terrible, but it's not physically letting me save my resolution and stuff like that. But does that actually the fix string, anything? The string quality is perfect right now, from what I see. At least. So you might just have to pull the stream. That's what I do. And apparently it comes out terrible anyway. It looks good right now. Uh, anyway. We'll end the game now. Farewell, everyone. Hope you have a good night, Brain Boy. Hope you have a good night as well. And I hope your hell week isn't too, too bad.